the necessity of evil, the philosophy of the wheel of time, why there is evil in this world. This question becomes more controversial when we add another question. Why does God allow it to exist? This philosophical question has been discussed forever, and there is a rich diversity of proposed answers, each offering a unique perspective. Nietzsche said there is neither good nor evil, it's just a point of view. Others argue that evil is good in disguise, only our limited understanding makes us see it as evil. There is no definite answer, but I found one explanation very interesting. It's from the book series The Wheel of Time. The Wheel of Time is an epic fantasy book by the late Robert Jordan. Jordan died before finishing the book. Fortunately, Brandon Sanderson concluded the series, and it's brilliant and my favorite fantasy book. The story is rich, deep, and engaging, so it was hard to make a TV adaptation. The last time was in 2021. You probably didn't hear about it, which is too bad. I warn you, there are a few spoilers, so stop watching and read them if you want to enjoy them. The story follows Rand and his friends on an unexpected adventure to save the world from the Dark and its forces. The Dark One is an evil manifest with immense power. Its main goal is to be fully released and rule the world as it sees fit, but the world's creator sealed it away, limiting its reach. One sorcerer couldn't accept aging and death and sought the Dark One for a cure. She damaged the seals, enabling the Dark to touch the world. Its power grew over time, and it could gather minions and bring chaos to the world. Rand, the story's protagonist, is a young man who lives in a backwash town disconnected from the world where war is just an old nanny story. One day, all that changed when the minions of evil attacked the city. The story follows Rand's journey out of his home into the world, where he and his friends face many dangers and adventures. It turns out that Rand is a prophesized hero who would bring salvation to this world, for he is destined to defeat the Dark One. Through the story, he wondered why the Creator created the Dark One and the consequences of suffering and evil associated with it. There was no answer then. When Rand goes to fight the Dark One in the epic battle, he gains the ability to see the future. In one version, he sees the Dark One winning, evil taking over, the world as they know it ending, and eternal suffering and chaos taking control. He saw another terrifying vision, a future where he wins, the Dark One is defeated forever, and with it, evil. In this world, people did good not because they wanted to, but because there was nothing else to do. For they were not humans, they were without freedom. Man is the sum of his choices. Are humans good if they are forced to do good? How can a man be the master of his destiny if he can choose? Thus, evil should exist. It's the byproduct of free will and freedom. We should learn to live with it and control it. Rand chose to bring balance to the world, so he sealed the Dark One from the world where its influence would be contained, but not relinquished. It turned out that wasn't the first time the evil was contained, for it's a circle, and this was one of them. It's destined that the fight between good and evil continues for more circles, as long as time flows. Thus, the title, The Wheel of Time. I recommend you read the books and form your own opinion. This is my interpretation, and the books are genius and full of wisdom. Have a nice day and may evil be limited. What do you think? Write it in the comment section below. Subscribe for more. Share it with friends. Yours, The Counselor SFTG.